road trip it would be. It would be a road trip in today's day, let alone the vehicles they would have back then and resources. Yeah, I mean, nowadays we, you know, we put women into space and don't think too much about it. But, um, you know, in 1915, women doing this kind of cross-country automobile trip was rare. And for good reason. I, I mean, it was, uh, you know, it was hard driving, hard traveling, especially in the West. The roads weren't good. The maps weren't good, you know, the signage wasn't good, <laughs> and there, were, there weren't services. There, weren't, there wasn't lodging or gas stations or, you know, restaurants and things like that. It was, it was pretty hard. Mm. And I imagine safety, too, would be an issue. Thing. Yeah, I mean, you, sometimes roads would be washed out and you'd have to drive around, and, um, you know, they almost get lost in the desert in eastern Nevada and in the Great wow. Basin at night because they were aiming for this one ranch house and it was a bit like Amelia Earhart trying to find that island in the Pacific, you know. It was in the middle of this vast, vast desert, and they, they had to get there. They were planning to get there at 10 o'clock at night, and they realized all of a sudden at midnight, we yeah. don't know where we are. Mm. I mean, not only have we not gotten there, we have no idea where we are. And they were, they'd hired a man to drive them, and he got them lost. <laughs> <laughs>